What's up YouTube and Facebook and welcome back to Not Quite Mint. Today we are doing our mystery box unboxing. So we're on our second mystery box. So this is episode two. Um, and this is the Crazy Collectibles Mix mystery box. So we're excited about getting into this one. Uh, shall we get into it, Rich? Let's get into it, Tom. This is the future. <laughs> Almost just looks like I've got a sound system. Yeah, it? just like beat, beatboxing <laughs> away. Cool. Um, awesome. So, yeah, guys, well, this is our second ever uh, mystery box uh, opening. If you are enjoying uh, mystery boxes and watching us open them, if you're a bit curious, we are trying to do the UK ones uh, at the moment just purely because uh, the, the, it's really difficult to obviously get the American ones and they take ages to ship and all the rest of it. But um, if there's mystery boxes out there within the UK you'd like to see us open as well, obviously do put that down in the comments uh, down below. That would be really helpful. Um, other than that, though, do make sure you're subscribed if you're new to the channel. Do hit the little bell um, and you won't miss any of our stuff. Give us a thumbs up and, like I say, leave your comments down below. Ideally, let us know if you've seen some really good-looking uh, mystery boxes that you'd like to see us open, but preferably in the UK. Awesome. So do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, what we're opening today, Tom? Yeah, so we are opening the Crazy Collectibles, and I believe this is his first mystery boxes that have gone out this uh, this month or last month. Um, everyone else has already opened theirs, so we're a little bit behind the times on ours. Um, but yeah, so it's their first one. So it's a Crazy Collectibles one. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a pop vinyl in here, so I'm excited to get in this and open it up. So how do you want to do it then, Rich? Do you want me to open it up so you can see and you can tell me what we've got? Yeah, well, what we'll do as well, um, I'll, I'll have, uh, I'll have, uh, this is shameless, shameless plug, I'll have the uh, Key Collector app open as well, and if you, uh, if I, I'll see if I can find um, whether or not we have any keys as well, but uh, yeah. Cool, well, we're in the box, the box is open, so the we're box. open. Yeah. So first, Paul, we get a little mystery pop. Ah, uh, cool, yeah. And Thor Ragnarok, mate. I wonder Brian, who you've got. Head. So, it, so it's, yeah, I'll open that in a minute. That, that'll yeah. be my next unboxing. Unboxing video for that. Unboxing video. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Awesome. So, first first off, I mean, I haven't even, you can't even see the comics yet. But first off, we've got some sweets. Oh, okay. So, this is where socially distant doesn't work, mate, is, you know, share me your bloody sweets. Oh, do you know what, mate? I'm going to save them for you, I swear. I'm trying not to open them so I can't see anything. Can't. Uh, cool. Cool. That's cool. what brewery lords are all about, that is. There we go. Right, I'm out. Wait, I'm away. I've got everything out. Let me see. Let's have a look what we got. First of all, let's see. So we've got some Haribos, obviously. Awesome. Bye, Mawams. <laughs> Mawams. Stay got a rubber. Yes. Oh, a rubber, is it? That, is that, that ant man? That actually will be really helpful. It's that man, yeah. Yeah, nice. Comic theme. Eraser. Oh, cool. Okay. A bit of promo stuff. We got a Marvel card. Oh, uh, what set? Uh, Heroes and villains. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, uh written out. So archives on. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I had that Very one. Hmm. Nice. Oh, and I got a little thank you card from Gary. That's cool. Thanks, Gary. Uh, no, his name's not Gary. Michael. It's not Gary. <laughs> <laughs> it's good it's to say, thank you enjoy. My dyslexia is like, that's as Gary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. So I've managed to turn them around the right, the wrong way. So there you go, mate. So first one. So, so that we've got, is... We've got, I think we've got six variants in here and six normal. One, two, three, four, five, six. So seven, 12 eight, books. Ten left on. Yeah, so 12 books. So starting off with Doctor Strange issue one, which looks like a Roberto Ramos uh, cover. Nice, but I'm not yeah. wrong. Doctor, Doctor Strange. So it's a number one as well. So yeah, yeah issue one, Doctor Strange, Jason Aaron run. It's got to be fairly recent that one, has, hasn't it? Can't see a date on it. I wonder. Good condition, though. Very good condition. 
Yeah, I've got one there. Is it? Is it? So, uh, it, it's 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 just Doctor Strange, isn't it? It's not and Sorcerer Supreme, is it? No, just Doctor Strange. This is there's actually more Doctor Strange volumes than uh, I actually. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so it is a key. It is a key. So it's perfect. It's on the app, and that is uh, the first appearance of Zelma Stanton, who oh, is an yes, ally okay. of Doctor Strange. Very nice. So there you go. We've got a key first off. First pull, and then we got this one. Sergio Agones grew the one. Now I have never heard of that. If that if that is on Key Collector app, I will be amazed. I grew. Even, I like the art style though. It's very like um, old school, almost like um, <laughs> Flintstonesy, not Flintstonesy. Um, Asterix and Obelisk. Asterix. I was just about to say it's a bit like Asterix. So there are two keys on Key Collector app for Sergio Aragon's Grew the Wanderer, but that they are issues number one and issue 120. Oh, we got issue 44. So slap bang in the middle. So it's not a key, but still, it's uh, very nice. Yeah. Mm, oh, good condition. That's my bad thing. Oh, detective. Ooh, I like the look of that one. Let's have a look. End game issue. What it's a one shot. Okay. And I think it's no joke. I like the cover. Yeah, I don't think that's don't think that's anything. If it's a if it's a one shot, there's not I haven't got that, but I do like the cover. Yeah, I like the cover. Very nice. Lovely. Oh, Mission Impossible. Ding. Oh, okay, who? Which is that? A Marvel one as well? Well, I didn't know they did that. Yes, Marvel Paramount Comics. Oh, it's a Liefeld cover. Very cool. Oh, well done. Is it number issue one? Yes. Um, I think I think there's obviously a variant of that that's very scarce. Okay. So, yeah. So basically, the 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 unedited there's an unedited version of that that's very scarce, uh, where Marvel edited page three of the comic after receiving feedback from Tom Cruise that the character he plays in the movie was depicted as being too feminine in two panels of the comic. Uh, unedited panel on page three has a full body drawing of Ethan Hunt holding a prosthetic head. Edited version shows the middle panel shaped like the state of Nevada with a word bubble spoken from someone off page. So it's page three you're looking for. Yeah. What have we got? Have we got Have we got uh, Tom Cruise or have we got the state of Nevada? I think, I don't know. Oh, go, go down. Um, well, so does Tom, Tom Cruise? So does Tom Cruise look feminine in the, on that page? Doesn't look like Tom Cruise. Right, we might need to look that up because if that is the unedited version, do you want to just check out? I can't see that. Oh my god! Wow. Okay. So we might have to do a bit of work on yes, that. My god. <laughs> so it's that's like that's Michael, the yeah, there is my Michael. All right. Well, I'm so yeah, um, we we definitely need to look into that one because if if they change the page and we've got the one with Tom Cruise in it on page three, that's a four hundred dollar book. Awesome. Where. <laughs> Which I don't believe for a second. We're, watch on social media. Follow us on social media because we will give an update on that comic because yeah, we need to this, do a bit of work. This is, gonna, this is going up on not quite Mint's Instagram like after this video. Going WTF, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, next Shit. one. Okay, yeah. Can't we get far away? I'm a bit... I'm a bit <gasps> in shock. Oh, young Princess Leia. Oh, yeah. so, Amazing. Princess Leia. Awesome. I think I think that is. Uh, I think I've. Uh, 
Because I've been buying some uh, Star I've Wars just variants. Got one of these. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. Uh, princess. Uh, it's it's. You have to start everything Star Wars on, on it. Thank you very much, Crazy Collectibles. That's amazing, that one. Yeah, I do like that. I think so. I don't know if, if that's a new is that a new one or an old one? It's an it's the newer versions. So when they first took over back over from uh, uh what they yeah first Marvel. Oh my god, my sweets are falling all over the place. But yeah, I don't I don't think that's a key, but it's it's a Scotty Young cover that's very uh obviously we do like Scotty Young, so oh yeah, who doesn't like Scotty Young? Okay, all new Wolverine, a venomized cover, and is that X23? It is issue 18. Okay, so let's work on the computer. All new, all new Wolverine. And uh, what issue did you say? Uh, 18, mate. So it's not a key, but obviously it is a variant. It's one of the venomized variants. So obviously still pretty cool. And X-23 is a rather popular character. So, yeah. Yeah, if it was issue number two, that's the one to get because that's the first appearance of Gabby, a clone of X-23. But uh, you know, 18 isn't a key. Next one. Oh, here we go, mate. One for you. X-Men Messiah Complex. Have you ever seen that one before? Uh, I haven't, but it's a Sylvester cover. Very nice. I like that. I do like that one. What's, uh, what's the title again, mate? Messiah uh, Complex. Messiah Complex, Chapter 1. Yeah, so... No, it's not, not nothing on there, so... Yeah, so that's probably... Yeah... No, no Messiah Complex on there. Do you like that artwork? I like how um, Sinister is front and centre, but he's kind of like merged in with all the other characters. Yeah, it's cool. Very no, it's cool. Uh, at the end of the day, mate, if you like that, that's the main thing. Ooh. What the hell is that? Well, it's a virgin, because I can't tell what it is. Can you tell what it is yet? Can you tell what it is yet? Yeah. I look, I mean, we do like our Virgin covers. It looks like it's going to be an independent. Oh, mate, that's cool. It's a wraparound job. What? That's a brutal cover, though. <laughs> what, 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 what is it? It's an image. Hmm? Mestros? Mestro 6. I don't know how you say this. This is this is my dyslexia, kick, dyslexia kicking in. Maestros, are we saying? Yes. Yeah. M A E S T R O S. Number six. No, there's a maestro done by um, by Marvel uh, to do the Hulk, but uh, not not nothing showing from Image. So, what number did you say it was? Six. Number six. So yeah. No, so not not one on the list, mate. But uh, we can do some research on that. That's cool. That's cool. That one, so. Oh, sacred creatures! This is I've the uh, had, sad one. Yeah, I've had that one. Yeah, I was going to say I've I've seen that. Um, I've actually had that in one of my mystery boxes in one of uh, the comic mystery box UK ones. But yeah, it's a uh, yeah, it's a sad lemon excuse that exclusive uh, cover of that. Yeah, very nice. I know it's I know it's not not listed so. Oh, sorry, I've seen this one. My bad. Okay. Arc light. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. Eight house arc light. I like how it's like a, a an old school um, painting. There's some really nice covers. As I say, I'm not. Uh... Yeah. No, again, not, not on the list, but. Uh... Obviously, still cool. Some of them I've never, never heard of or seen before. So, but still, lovely, lovely artwork. Outcast. Yeah. Uh, I'll... Issue one. Kirkham. 
Let's have a look. I have a feeling it will be a key because it was a new, new, uh, whatever. So, Outcast issue one, yeah, premiere issue of horror series published by Image, created by Robert Kirkman and Paul Asceta. So, yeah, about, I mean, Key Collector saying it's about a nine dollar, nine dollar book, but sometimes their prices are out. So, uh, yeah, pretty good. Uh, I, I, I'm excited about this next one. Really excited because I can see the back of it. I can see the uh, the, the the Diamond Force sticker and the the certificate of authentication. But it said J. Scott Campbell. Oh, God, <laughs> so, uh, I have a feeling I'm never going to see that other, no. other than uh, in your collection. <laughs> the monochrome J. Scott Campbell cover for Danger Girl. It's it's as if it's as if he's picked that. Very book, just or that gut box, just for you, isn't it? Yes, so thank you very much, crazy collector. Fair play, fair play, and obviously, it's Danger Girl because he created Danger Girl as well, didn't he? So, he did. yeah, yeah, that's oh, Jay Scott Campbell, not, not, not crazy collectibles. <laughs> yeah, he created that cover before, mate. So, you mate, have you seen that cover before? No, never. I've not. I've, well, I've seen the cover, but I've never seen the monochrome version. It's limited to ten thousand. Okay. Is it? Yeah. Uh, is it? Oh, it's signed as well. So. No, it's not signed. Not signed, but like, yeah, limited cover. Cool. Get it signed. You could get it signed exactly. Could. There you go. That. You didn't see anything. This didn't happen. I don't. I don't remember that. Yeah, one. you, you, you didn't call that yet. So, Anybody who's watching this video does needs to needs to go back about what six we, we months. Got stuff here, Rich. We only got we only got five variants and then five standard covers. There's one missing. Oh. <laughs> oh Do you cool. to run for uh, That's saying that is. Yeah, go for it. So the outcast number one, whatever that one was, sacred creatures number one. Uh, this one, the maestros, X Men Messiah Complex. Never seen that that before. So interesting. Oh, All the Wolverine, Venomized X twenty three, Scotty Young uh, variant Princess Leia number one. Uh, really this interesting. That one, yeah, we need to find out about that one because it might be a four hundred dollar book. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Batman Detective Comics. Uh, can't remember the number, and then Grew the Wanderer, forty-four, uh, and then Doctor Strange uh, number one, and that was obviously a uh, another minor key. So, oh, oh, that was a pretty strong box, really. And there was some some book by J. Scott Campbell <laughs> called Danger there was Girl. There's something else in there, but I didn't I didn't see it. Yeah, did you buy? You bought that one yourself, didn't you? That was yeah, yeah. It's my mail call. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Excellent. Well, if you're having that, I don't think I've got the Scotty Young Princess Leia, so I'll, I'm going to have that one. I've got. I'm claiming that one. Happy days. And then we'll... that. I mean, Mission Impossible because I have no interest in it whatsoever. If it is worth a lot of money, it is going to get slabbed and sent off. To, oh yeah. To be Happy sold. Days. We, I'll, 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 I'm going to immediately upon finishing this video go in and uh, <laughs> finding out exactly what that book is absolutely bonkers oh are we going to find out what's in your yeah I'm trying to look now I'm going to guess you'd really like a gladiator Hulk one of those if if, if possible but I, or, or Thor or Thor oh oh Never mind. Oh, it's yeah, it's the Jeff Goldblum's character who can't remember his name. Yeah, but I'm gonna stick into the wall, mate. <laughs> yeah, he's cool though. He's quite cool. I'll put him in there, and I'm gonna put your Harry Bow mix in there too. And there's yeah. a Mal there's a the Harry Bow mix each and a Malwam each. So I'm gonna put that in there, with oh. the and you can have Jeff. Can have Jeff. <laughs> I feel like Jeff needs to come everywhere with us now. Uh, yeah, I feel like Jeff, Jeff is our go-to now. Jeff needs to be um, our little mascot. Yeah, man. 
the gold bloom. Well, thanks for thanks for sticking around watching the unboxing, guys. That was that was actually quite good fun. I just need to know about that Mission Impossible because I'm a bit like. <gasps> yeah, I'll uh, I'll have a look into it after this, mate. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. Awesome then, dude. So, yeah, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Obviously, subscribe if you want to see more uh, mystery boxes. If you have seen some advertised on Facebook or wherever, uh, wherever, let us know in the comments down below so we can have a look at them and we'll uh, look to see if we can uh, do another unboxing. Um, obviously, we will be doing another Comic Mystery Box UK this month because it will be featuring artwork from our very own Tom. Um, Tom Art of Tom Malian, so make sure that uh, if you are a Mystery Box lover that you check out Facebook and uh, search for Mystery Comic uh, Box UK and uh, obviously it's a, a backwards way of like supporting the channel via uh, obviously uh, uh, having the chance of getting some of Tom's awesome artwork, so do go and check that out. Um, apart from that, thanks ever so much for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment, dingly bell, and uh, take care. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Take care, everyone. See you.